In fact, Angela says these temps right now in the 20s are going to continue to plunge through tomorrow morning. So hopefully you've already got a chance to go out and clear the snow that might be on your driveway or your walks today. Let's take a look at the roads. You can see that Indot's big yellow trucks have been really hard at work. We can see the pavement now. Remember the last couple of days we couldn't see any lanes when we were out on the highway. Yeah, interstate's looking great right now. Such a big difference compared to what we were all seeing yesterday at this time. Tonight we've got more live team coverage from downtown Indianapolis up to Kokomo. And we're going to start with our meteorologist Angela Buckman. Angela, oh, you said it. It was nice to have the sunshine today. Not a lot of melting because temperatures are only close to 20. Now what you see up to our northwest, a little flurry activity, a few flurries. We're not forecasting much in the way of additional snow. The winter storm that we've been dealing with is now along the east coast and moving out. So we did get a much needed break to start digging out from 6 to 12 inches of snow. Yes, that's what we got with this two day winter storm. It is 20 in Indianapolis and Muncie, Richmond as well. 26 in Bloomington, 18 in Kokomo with temperatures this low. The snow isn't going anywhere anytime soon. A cold night if you're headed downtown for the Pacers game. Evening temperatures will start to fall through the teens and then we're forecasting lows in the single digits, if not sub zero by a degree or two. It will all depend on how quickly we clear from that flurry activity I showed you, but be prepared. Prepare your home, your friends, your family, your pets for a cold night. We'll be close to 1 at 8 a.m., only at 12 midday tomorrow, and temperatures struggle to get to 20 degrees. So, yes, the main roads look great. However, neighborhoods and side streets, a completely different story. We go out to Gina now live for an update.